Right. The purpose of this live is I'm wearing my England, uh, sorry, my Newcastle United shirt today because England are playing and there's a good chance Anthony Gordon will be on the pitch tonight for England representing Newcastle United. And the whole purpose of doing this is because we have a commercial director called Peter Silverstone. And this is to him. And um, the thing is, with it being a co commercial director, um, the, the club have already announced a, a partnership with Annie Marker Brands Quid Marketplace, uh, which as a commercial partner for NFTs. And as I've said in the description of this, I believe if you've gone down the road of doing an NFT, you're halfway there. So why not go the whole hog? And when you go the whole hog, you are creating, Peter, a ERC20 for Newcastle United as a club going forward and like that could pay for your um hire of corporate spaces that could pay for food and drink uh, on evenings where there is no matches at st james's park it could also pay for uh, merchandise in our club shop and you could expand it to other things. And the beauty of doing an ARC20 as well as the NFT is this. Newcastle United as a football club has a utility. It has the stadium, which is a physical stadium. We have a football team who are in the Premier League, which is the highest league in the world. And... The money generated from the NFTs and the ARC20, well, that could go towards things within the stadium, i.e. Um, giving uh, colour to the stadium, as well as the, the things which I mentioned in my letter. Now... Lots of people have come in. Uh, we've got Jack Howell, uh, so Carl Jordy, uh, Andy Hayes, and Keith Patterson, the legend, the man who started everything off. You are an absolute superstar because he was brave enough to send a letter down to Richard Masters in London. And he was the one who actually got all of us to go down to uh, Parliament Square. And that was such a beautiful day. Very hot, though. My mum was baking. And as we did the bit on the, the lawn, when there's signs everywhere saying, nobody on the grass, they couldn't say no to all of us because... We had such a swell of numbers. It was fantastic. So, here's the thing, okay? Creating the ARC20. There's, there's quite a few places. My token generator is one of them. Where I did my ARC20s was WX.network. And you have to pay a, a fee to create it. And one of the things that everybody has to follow is it can only be used for business. So because Newcastle United is a business, it's perfect. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Oh, do you know, Keith, 
you are such a wonderful person and I have the picture outside of St James's on the next to the food bank and that is a treasure for for the rest of my days so you know what what we did um obviously going down to London that was an experience will live in my mind forever because I met so many nice people some of them sadly are no longer with us um Kenny Ronson um rest in peace mate but I met so many beautiful people and we have to like the reason why I, I did this was because Peter Silverstone I have messaged him before I got booted off LinkedIn to say to Peter about what I'm what I've put in this in the description because it is so damned important we we as a club we need to move forward and you know I've just uploaded it well it may be uploaded I don't know because it's been uploading since six o'clock this morning my broadband is terrible so um there was a thing about our previous owner who i won't mention his name he's got his sports empire and he's taken newcastle to court the horrible man he is because our new shirt sponsor Adidas is with a different. He's not allowed to to do to put the Adidas in his shops, apparently. So he's taken us to court. Right, what we got? Uh, thoughts on PD Prolog? I look. I'm not in the northeast. I live here. And I've begun a brand new life. There are things coming to Newcastle and Nottingham. And that's going to come within between now and the 11th of April. And there's going to, there's so much is going to happen this year. It's going to be absolutely crazy and mental where I'm just going to stay as the founder. Um, give out the, the job roles to each and every other person and uh, I'll just do me as the founder so I'll have 51% 49% will go out to investors um, sing us a bit of the song there's two songs pardon me the song, the, the second song is about the streets of Newcastle. The streets where I have drove down on the bus. Uh, and it's places I love, like St. James's Park. Now, family are coming up. Uh, believe they're coming up for the Tottenham game. I'm not there, though. Sadly, because things are so, so tight. Feels like I'm uh, skidding along the uh, M1 at 80 mile an hour on my backside. So um, that's how the situation is. Um, have I seen any horses? Yes, I have. Um, I videoed horses the other day and um, when Jewel Energy does go live and I put in for a farm, I'm going to get 20 horses and build a stable so that people can actually not just look at the horse, they can actually bloody ride it. However, we're getting off track here. Now, 
what I want to see at St James's Park is because obviously we've partnered with Quid and that's for NFTs. I believe NFTs are going to change. And how I mean by that is you're not just going to have a boring picture of whatever it may be. You're going to have a carousel NFT. And that carousel NFT is going to have websites. Then it's going to have video. Then it's going to have pictures, etc. And the stuff I'm doing, I'm working on, is beaches, Whitley Bay, colour coats, time mouth, because I visited them as a kid. So I'm driving up, take the video in 30 second clips, and then bolt them together, but in a carousel. Anyway, what we got? Uh, well, no, um, Andy, my clothes are my clothes are five years old. I mean, this this is the famous number four, which I turned into an NFT, and. The next version of this is going to have the castor, sorry, it's on that side, the castor taken off and something else put on there. But um, I'm, I'm working on about seven designs to go back onto OpenSea and they will all be carousel. In that way, you'll have, um, when you buy in, because people whinged the last time when I did the NFTs, that there were two ETH. Didn't quite like that, but it is what it is. The next ones will be at a lower price, but they will be a carousel. So what you're looking at, shortly like when if you go to reopen it it may be a video it could be a website or it could be pictures of the beach pictures of northumberland that sort of thing that gives you an idea and this is why i decided because i can't do anything with my mobile because i'm still uploading uh the the first one from this morning with uh the our previous owner now, what we've got here. Uh, I will do. Yes, I will do. Um, I, I love I love when, when I do come up in Newcastle because I tell the lads, straight to the dog and parrot, so I can see Malcolm. He is my absolute hero, Malcolm McDonald. And, you know, I mean... I heard the announcement um, ages ago when I was when we had the old um, Lisa's end, and he had just scored. But I was too young to get into St James's. But the announcement turned round and goes that basically he had scored. I don't know if he'd scored at the Lisa's end or he'd scored at the Gallagher end, but. Um, the roar, oh my God, that roar, I'd never, ever forget that. And Malcolm is my hero. Now, like I said in my letter, which I sent up to Darren Eels, um, one thing I would dearly love to see is Peter Beardsley statue, um, Paul Gascoigne, Statue, Chris Waddle, Mirandinha. Do you remember him when he, he used to play for the club? The first Brazilian to uh, come into the United Kingdom. I'd like to see one of him. Um, like to Barry Venison, you know, people like that. Because 
there's many people who have come into our club since the takeover. We call you know some people call them the tourists because obviously they haven't followed Newcastle through um, the really bad bad times when you know Kevin Keegan took to the pitch when Kevin Keegan flew off in the helicopter that blew my brother's mind because he couldn't stop talking about it you know and um it's stuff like that where it's a photographic opportunity for anybody coming to the city and it gets our club on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. There, there is many forms of social media, to be blunt and honest. He's right behind you. Boom. Anyway, this is this video, this live in the description is to, to Peter Silverstone because I used to chat to him. Well, mess, sorry, I used to message him on LinkedIn until I was sharing a post and I haven't been able to sign back in. They keep giving me this, um, oh, we'll have a look at you in 48 hours. That was six months ago, so I give up. Oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I mean, you see, the thing is, I mean, um, the one, the, the reason why I'm doing this is we've we've partnered with Quid. So, because we've partnered with a NFT marketplace, it's it's only logical to take the next step and peter it would be pretty easy for him because he's a commercial director he should know these things you know i mean i speak to people down in nottingham and they're just like glazed look in their eyes and i'm thinking in november i believe it is it may be before that but we're going to get the digital pound and people still don't know anything about it. How crazy is that, man? So, um, because one thing I found out, plastic notes, what which we use at the moment, they're going to be phased out. Reason why? Plastic is a byproduct of oil. There you go. Um, massive issue in Nottingham, Leicester. Well, I haven't visited most of the streets in Nottingham. I just know certain bits. And that's because, like, from 2019 to now, we've had the lockdown where we couldn't go, like, anywhere. Because city centre was shut. You know, unless you've got like a, a supermarket. And um, since my mum passed away, I had trouble getting out. And now I can. Now, one thing, as there's 10 of you here, little challenge. It costs you an out. It's basically spread the word. 789 subscribers. I've got to get that thousand before my birthday. Simple. Because I've got my uh, YouTube partner program ID. Job Centre know about that. Job Centre know about TikTok as well. And Job Centre also know about the bloody ARC20s who... They turn around and says, you, you know, you're living in dream world. But it ain't, it ain't living in dream world. So spread the word. It's easy, you know. 
See, the, the thing is this, right? If you were going, if you're driving up in Newcastle upon Tyne, yeah, and you, you're driving past the field on your way to your mums, your mates, all like that, and then all of a sudden you see billboard with 32k dual energy or something like that, instantly you're going to know. Instantly. Because you've seen my videos, etc. And 2024, we break ground. That's it. When, once we break ground, that's breaking ground is phase one. And then the videos expand. Construction company, what up? Be but before the instruction, the construction company comes in, metal detector on the field, just in case there's anything, you know, buried down. But I, I'll use the uh, the bulldozers to scrape the top, get down for your foundation, and then get the metal detector and see what's down there, you know, and then post that to here and everywhere else. Uh, well, guess what? Sorry, you can't see the birds. The reason why is I'm sitting at the table. Um, my mum had this gigantic glass table with leather chairs. And that is one of them with the, um, you know, the comfy cushions. So the laptop is kind of connected to the, the main box for the plugs and the wires, they're going to a thing which is under the laptop to keep the laptop cool. Do I have a metal detector? Not at the minute. However, I have been offered one with the highest resolution and the person said it's very easy to operate but what I do have is I have a a foot and a half helicopter with the you know the um, remote control where you pull the cable at uh, not the cable the bloody aerial you pull the, the aerial out and it goes up into the air. But when I lived at West Denton, it went up about 40, 50 feet. Wind caught it a little bit, so I went to bring it down. And you're going to laugh. I know you're going to laugh. I went to catch it, and I dropped the, the remote control console, and my aerial is like that. So... I've got to fit a new aerial to the um, control unit. I'm about uh, 30 miles from Leicester, I think. So couldn't do it there. But um, yeah. Getting back to Peter Silverstone and um, what he could do as commercial director. In St. James's Park, we've got banquet and suites. Um, large spaces. And we've got in the Sir John Hall stand, I believe there's a, a new restaurant so the ARC, which could go on to mobile devices, could, you know, the um, the machine where you just pop it on and it goes, beep, that's your, your meal, your drink paid for. And on a match day, we've got 52,000 people going, beep, 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 beep. Do you know what I'm saying? So... That's where I'm looking at. 
I I have no clue, Jack, whether Peter Silverstone will respond. I mean, when I was on um, LinkedIn, when I was coming off Twitter, which is now X, I did link him in to posts, but whether he's read them, who knows? I mean, somebody asked me in the last live that I did, um, did I have anything to do with the NFTs? And um, I did post a letter of recorded delivery to um, Darren Eels and the management, but whether that letter went in the trash can or whether it went to Amanda, Mia Dad and Jamie and His Excellency Yasir Al Ruyan, your guess is as good as mine. So that's as much as I can say. Yes, I am still friends. I have John's number. I uh, spoke to John quite a few times. Um, why did I come off X? Very simple reason why I came off X. If I walk from my flat to the next village, it's roughly a half an hour walk. Now, if I do that walk in sulfuric acid rain, I'm going to get hurt. That's what Twitter, uh, that's what Twitter is. It is as toxic as that. And it didn't help when Elon Musk bought it because Elon Musk turned around and says, freedom of speech, so you could rip shreds off people and nothing happened. I ain't going to be I'm part of that. No way. So that's where you go. Um, do, you, do I know Baza? You mean um, through Black Might Eyes? Baza? A very productive place. Hmm. Debatable. Did you, anybody see Elon Musk's interview um, where somebody turned around and says about the ads and he went, you're trying to blackmail me. You can't blackmail the richest man in the world. It's a physical impossibility. All the companies that Elon has, you just can't touch the man. He's like Teflon. Do I have uh, Baz's number? No, I don't. Um, I just log on to his uh, channel. I see the tune review is now at 28,000. And you know the surprise is, is this. I remember right at the start, right at the beginning, there was like 13 people in chat. And I kept pushing every single channel. And Baz, Paul, um, PD Proudlock, John, they never believed they would get to where they were. Big respect to Toon Review for hitting 28,000. I'd love 28,000. I really would. But I'd rather earn that 28,000 my way. Uh, Baz posted some concerning... Not interested, mate. One thing I, I, I did the other day when I was on, I put a delay on. There's no delay on the, on the day. So there we go. Well, these things happen, don't they? I mean, I know Paul had been unwell. 
Um, but yeah, I, I I was on there the other day and um, I saw twenty eight thousand and I thought, well done, absolutely well done. <laughs> the one thing which slightly got me annoyed, it just annoyed, was the east corner. I think um, uh, just before I'd gone across to see Steve Hasty at the food bank and I took him three sheets of paper on how to create an ERC-20 and that night on his show, and I, I've never watched it since, that night on his show was laughing and joking about three sheets of paper. I thought, well, I've given you the instructions. If you can't follow them, then fair enough, you know. So I've never been back since. But I do go into um, Loaded Mag. I do go into Three Amigos and um, others. It's just... I, I'm now designing and developing and because of that i'm like doing one thing and then uh, moving on to the next doing a video moving to the next that sort of thing well jack I'm not going to answer that one because um, a, a clue is Mick Jagger, superstar, did something a long, long time ago with a lady. I think she was Marianne Faithful. Think. Uh, he's a very rude man. I saw him, well, Whatever, you know, nobody in life is perfect. Nobody. We've all got our faults, every single one of us. Uh, never heard of that. But the one good thing is this. As... If, if things go the way I want, come the start of 24, 25, football season, I'll renew my membership. And because my brother's son books the tickets, I'll give him the money to book for the full season. And then... When I come up, I'll be driving a silver car with the club crest on the bonnet with two black lanes either side of the club crest going all the way over the car. Whoa. You're kidding me, man. Oh. The weather's just turned a bit naughty outside. Um, <clears throat> but the car um, will be a company car. And the windows will have the websites on. And that can't be a, no, it can't be a tornado, surely. No way. Wow, way man. Right. Here's the thing. Out my window, at this precise second, you ever seen a downdraft? Well, there's a big downdraft, and it is very bloody big. And there's ice 
drop in. Because you can hear on that, on that window. Wow. That is big. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Now, the other two channels have to evolve. And they will. That will be between now and Christmas. And then there will be three channels. Hopefully this one will uh, have the stuff I'm doing at the moment. Geordie Nation will be Newcastle. Uh, that will be Streets in Newcastle. Jasmine Dean. Colour Coats. Whitley Bay. And areas like that. Who is perfect, so-called Geordie? Hmm? Who is perfect? Whoa! Flash of lightning. That ain't good. That is not good at all. So, anyway. Am I surprised I don't have a thousand subscribers? Well, I look at it this way. I've got to 789 and I put a, a challenge out and people turned around and mocked that challenge. And today, tomorrow, next week, I don't really, I don't care. That's the honest answer because the, the stuff that is going to go onto my YouTube. Nobody can stop it. And what I mean by that is, you know, when you get to like go up into Northumberland and you're going down the road and the barriers do that. The barriers do that because there's a great big train busting up the, the track. So, what I'm trying to say to every single one of you is this. When you are, you know, doing your thing and, and, and not sharing, don't share. Don't spread the word. I'll just do it myself. And then, when I've got to where Steve Wraith is, where Rubenstein is, where... Now you have a good day too. Anyway, just come up 40 minutes. Oh, the weather is now going into Lincoln. Mm. So Lincoln's going to get the same stuff we've just had. But here's the thing. There's, a, there's, an, there's an old thing my gran used to say to us. Right? And it's this. Saying is believing. Now, that's what I'm going to do. The same process. So, as the money comes in, and, you know, people were saying the other day, um, about one of, the, one of the persons was saying, Mark Harnett was turning around and saying, oh, what's the betting on zero sales? Guess what? Don't care. Because NBV business solutions are now next to us. And they have connections in more places than you can type in chat. And 
45 minute conversation with them and what they've said to me is test get past then come back and that's exactly what i'm going to do and then they are going to be a partner to spread the word because like i say once the um the funds come in the funds can only be used for business purposes no else that means acquiring land solicitors legal and then getting in touch with construction companies right here in rushcliffe and up in newcastle and then choosing who's going to run newcastle because it can't be in two places hello rattan yeah you might have to go to the back of the well the start of the um the video because i'm chatting about peter Silverstone, um our commercial director and the reason why i'm talking about him is because we have um a new commercial partner who is quid marketplace for nfts and because we're doing nfts the logical step is erc 20s and that's why it states in the description it's to peter silverstone commercial director of newcastle united i own two wind turbines and the you, did you, what happened there <laughs> you, you own two well check this one out between newcastle site and rushcliffe site five thousand each yeah because you're gonna have a row of panels a row of vertical turbines panels turbines panels turbines are across the whole site everywhere so that's what's what's coming how on earth will you get ten thousand turbines well i've had an account and that account is with the biggest supplier on planet earth and um yeah that's how well here's the thing they have a huge warehouse that is bigger than Heathrow Airport in London and it does a lot of products we all use but there's not just one no there's many and that covers everything that is required well the thing is um at some point there's a place called colorado in the united states of america that's where i'm going to um do the same thing just over there anyway we are at 45 minutes and eight seconds and that nasty horrible weather and the lightning is now in lincoln it's still a bit cloudy out there but 
That was some storm. So when I do come across to the United States of America, I'll let you know. And we can meet up. Because the reason why I'm going to Colorado is a shiny metal. Anyway, to all of you, there's nine of you here. Spread the word. Spread this video and maybe Peter Silverstone, commercial director of Newcastle United, maybe you'll see it and maybe Newcastle United will have an ERC-20 for all of the fans room forward. So you all have an awesome Saturday and I'm going to check my mobile phone to see if that uh, upload is on YouTube. It's to do with Newcastle United being sued. Do I plan on becoming a financial advisor? No. They've gone, the financial advisors have gone to university. My mum couldn't afford to send me to university, even though I had two O levels. She couldn't afford it. But have a wonderful day, everybody. And just spread the word. It ain't hard. So, thank you very much for coming in. See you all on the next video, which is, I believe, for the West Ham game next Saturday. Bye for now.